Well, we've got some more items here from our bag. Get stuck into it. Well, this item's alright, so I'm going to include this one. Now, this is actually, I think it's a review item, which is why I'm going to do this by itself. Because I need to do review video. Let's actually see if I'm right or not. Yep, I'm right. It's Venusi, it's a clamp meter. That's a DMC100 clamp meter. It's got a 2 inch colour screen, 3.7 volt lithium, 5 volt charging, 1 amp, 25mm draw size, 10,000 count display, an AC DC current, AC DC voltage, resistance, continuity, diode, capacitance, frequency, temperature, live voltage, and non contact voltage. This has been sent to me at no cost by Fenusi for the purpose of review. That's exactly what we'll do. That's a nice strong spring on there too, actually. That's okay. It's fairly compact. Cool. So I'll be doing a review on this thing very soon. Watch out for that. There'll be links for this thing in the description. And there'll be a link to the review if I've already published it. So if you think you've already seen me do a video about this, it's probably because I have. I could be out of sync with my mailbag versus my reviews because I've been trying to do so much recently. So, yeah, just, yeah, we'll see. I may have already done it, I may not, I don't know. You tell me in the comments down below. Don't forget the links down below for these things too. I'll send you links. As always, I'll give you links to ones. This looks just preciously like a screen. I'm going to have to go to real nice here. Some stuff here that's just like. Yep, there we go. Tool bag there with some glue as well. Yep, okay. This definitely looks like a screen to me. Screen protection accessories. I'm guessing that's a lot of cleaner. It's a screen. Now this, if I remember rightly, is for an A12. Samsung A12, I think it was. I think the tape on the end of it was not very really helpful. <laughs> okay. Yep, A12. So it's got a new back and a screen assembly complete with the frame. Purchased in there before, I've had no problems in it, it'd have been good. So I've got to do repair a phone screen from the guy at work. So, excellent. I can get that job done. I've always done a video about replacing this particular screen on this particular phone even. I'm not going to do another one for it. I think it's in a while. It's always a capacitor. That's not the right one. Maybe it's this one. Click subscribe right now, quick, before you forget. Yeah, that one. Standoffs. Now as the top is all bowed outwards and a bit cracked, I'm guessing that means they're all getting mixed. Yes they have. We don't need to know which one's which do we? No. It's fine. At least all 2.5mm, that makes it a little bit easier. So it's a 2.5mm standoff set. Now I was working on something the other day which needed 2.5mm Raspberry Pi, was the Raspberry Pi screen review I was doing and I needed a 2.5mm standoff and I had 3mm, I had 2mm didn't have 25 now I do the bit's a bit mixed up assorted it's, it's an assorted assortment oh that's making me twitch <laughs> yeah I need to fix this but I'm not going to do it now Oh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's fine. Has some screws. 630 second screws. 100 of them. Apparently PC hard drive screws. These have got these little flanges on them, like the built-in washers. So they've got a larger surface area. Very handy. And we've got some other ones here. Oh, that's already got like, almost open. Oh. It's a relay. It's 
So all these ones, these relays here, G6B, yeah I might have to read the actual numbers of it. I'm on G6B-1174P, this is a 8 amp with a 12 volt coil, that's the same. That's the same, and that's the same. So I did show a um, relay bank in one of my other mailbags recently, which I recorded. I'm not sure when you would have seen it. It might be maybe a few weeks ago. I'm not quite sure when I published that one, but it had 24 volt relays in it, and it's a style of relay. And so I'm thinking, well, if I need to do that particular unit on a 12 volt system. I'm going to need 12 volt relays. So I've got some 12 volt relays to go with it. So I've got 24 volt relays, 12 volt relays, and pretty cheap. Not expensive at all. Right, so that's those. And now you've got this box. So it's a U green USB C to HDMI adapter and a USB 4 cable and a Thunderbolt 3. There we go. Yeah, Thunderbolt 3 compatible, which is the important part there. It's a USB 4 cable, but Thunderbolt 3 compatible. So that's the main thing there. I didn't actually have any Thunderbolt cables like this. I've got USB cables, but not Thunderbolt. So I need to get some of these because I'm replacing my computer again soon. I ordered it the other day, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago. Still hasn't been processed yet, so I cancelled the order today and ordered another one. Probably have to start again and I'll wait another couple of weeks before I get annoyed. Now that things are right, let's have a look. Let's see what's in here. It's now one of these little relay modules. I showed one of these before, got relays in this one. These are 24 volt relays as well. So I got one of these before and I quite like the look of it. So I thought I'd get another one. I did also buy some 12 volt relays which fit in these so I can actually do a 24 volt or 12 volt relay or a mixture of both. So handy little devices and relatively cheap. I'll be able to watch down below if you're interested in other stuff. Subscribe over here if you want to subscribe, and there's a Patreon support link over there if you wish to support the channel and donate even just a couple of dollars a month. It all helps. If enough people support a couple of dollars a month, I can buy a lot more stuff from our bag, a lot more bits of test equipment to do repairs about and other videos and things like that. All the money gets donated goes back into the channel, so it's also YouTube members, or you still do one-off thanks down the bottom there too. You can do that if you really want to, but um, I recommend Patreon myself because it's actually cheaper for you and I get more of the percentage of the money. I think it's just better. And you also get perks like I can attach things like service manuals to equipment and data sheets and things like that. So, you know, there's perks like that. Just like.